Hello, it's Sarah, and I have been wood burning. I just wanted to share what I've made, and I'm going to do a little tutorial, but nothing major. I went outside yesterday. It was probably close to 70 degrees, and on my back deck, it's pretty sunny. So I sat in the sun, and that way, all the fumes, uh, because you're burning wood, it's pretty, you know, it can be toxic. So for today, I'm going to use this is my um, soldering filter so it's a filter it's called the hank off i don't know smoke absorber um, but i use this for when i do stained glass and that absorbs the um the soldering smell um, so i figured i would try it for the wood and it i did it last night and it does work it just pulls the smoke over anyway I did a couple of different projects yesterday. I first burned this coffin, and I've had these in my stash. These are probably just made of balsa wood. I don't know what kind of wood because depending on the wood that you're using, you're gonna have a certain kind of result. You know, I mean, if you're using something that has a lot of, um, what do they call them, grain lines in them, like, uh, a grainy wood which is beautiful if you're gonna sand it down and and stain it and use it for a piece of furniture but maybe it's not the best thing to burn on because the little so I've plugged in my here let me go ahead and bring this in I know I interrupt myself a lot but this is my coal wood super pro 2 um, I have the Versa tool from the craft stores as well and I have burned with that but this is what I was using yesterday um, I plugged it in. I'm going to turn it on now and let it heat up. I'm going to put it to like a five. Just to keep it in the middle. I, I did pretty well with it on a five um, yesterday because um, this wood is pretty soft. I'm using craft wood. So like I said, this is pretty much like a balsa wood. It's very thin. Um, and it burnt really easily so I have two big ones of those I also did a few popsicle sticks this was just freehand but I did realize that you can absolutely burn on these and I happen to have a whole big bag of them so I might play with that I drew a little angel on one I don't know if you can see her and then she's like over a house um, you know we'll see how it goes uh, but I wanted to show you how I did this and also I did this project so this is another one of those kind of I got these in the dollar spot I, I don't know if they were a dollar at the I mean because it goes from a dollar to three dollars pretty much um, but it's again it's that same here I'll try to I'm gonna grab you here's one that I haven't painted yet oh actually I gessoed it because I wanted to paint them for adding tiles to. I don't know that I should burn on this because it's had gesso on it, but it comes like this. And there's a little, I think I got all of my drawers have a heart, but there were some with stars, I think. And I could actually put this in backwards and you could drill a little hole. And, um, Put a handle on here too anyway this is the same kind of wood it's kind of like a balsa wood now I can't get it out um, I also have these little blanks that I was practicing on these come in the craft section uh, I'm sorry the wood yeah let's see art mines rectangles these were at Michaels so I don't know it doesn't say like what kind of wood it is uh, yeah it doesn't say I mean they have specific things in the wood burning department like because they have those little pieces of uh, wood that have the bark on the edge still so you could do that but I just wanted to play yesterday so I couldn't I can't wait and I have to go grab what I have so that's what I did um, I did this little project on wood and initially I wasn't going to use the drawer but I figured I would do something on the drawer because I'm going to do this and then you have the four seasons and you could put like a candle on top which I don't know where my candle went we got them I got this candle at Ikea the other day anywho 
it fit perfectly on here so basically you would just you know I mean you don't have to but you could do whatever it's just um, maybe I could put the the drawer on top I don't know uh, but I because I didn't do it this way which was silly because I if I had then you could use this for a pencil holder or whatever but everything will be upside down so I started with this and this is basically a design that I used in my art journal at one point so I figured let me do that and I just drew these out with my pencil right on the wood um, and then I burned the main lines I didn't do any shading or detailing with my um, wood burning tools because I was inspired by this calendar that I got from sticks so I shared this in my previous video um, this is burnt patterns and then they paint it and they paint wet on wet so you can see the shading because they blend colors I tend to float so I've only done a few things on here like my water you can see where I added the white on the tips of the waves and on the top of the ocean um, I haven't I shaded a little bit on the boat um, I haven't done a ton of shading yet but I think I, I did a little on the brown you can tell that it looks a little darker on the bottom but I do think I will shade it the one thing um, I have to say is so anyway I did this inspired by the way they do them at sticks but now I'll apply my own Sarah style to it um, so all of these designs were basically things that I've done in art journals already the the sailboat I did last year I just might as well show you uh, I just kind of flipped through my art journal pages and found things that I thought oh that would be easy to burn and these were actually inspired by different stained glass patterns that I've done as well so they're very just main line like almost coloring book um, so that sailboat came from there now this fall one which I love I've painted for years so let's see if I have um, yeah it's not here this is my winter one but this is an artist named um, oh man I think I know where it is but it's not handy uh, Betty Caithness I've painted lots of her designs so I just kind of you know she has similar designs like this but there's one for fall and I just thought all you have to do is so this was kind of from sticks they had a gourd but I just drew a pumpkin and just started layering different things in there and this little tree was very much the way they did it with sticks like my trees over here I did I don't know where I found those inspiration I think um, on YouTube anyway and then this pine tree uh, I've done pine trees like that before so you know it's just to get that landscaping to make it look like it goes back I just kind of tried to do that but I really loved how it looks like almost like um, a field or uh, a farm you know um, and then the ocean I showed you and then the snowman so I just made a little pine tree and I mean there's a dirt pile in the back I mean a dirt hill uh, a little green hill too because I just didn't want it to be all white and sometimes when it snows it doesn't hit everywhere I don't know I just colored it however now the one thing and then I ended up doing um, a little doodle type front on the fr front of it but I thought it matched pretty good with because yellow was on most of the sides this side looks really good because it has the red anywho um, the one thing that because I'm a decorative painter that I don't like about it not that I don't like it because I do like it is it's very rough because I don't feel like I sealed this at all with any type of uh, wood sealer because before I do my next one, well this one's got gesso on it, I really thought I had another one of these. I think, because even this, let's see what this one feels like. I, this one feels pretty smooth because I sand the heck out of it. But you know what, it has to do with the painting. Because once you add paint, 
And all I did to do this was I added this uh, gel stain medium because I wanted it to look like stain. I didn't want it to look like I painted it um, with acrylic paint. I wanted it to come all across as washy like stain would look on a wood piece. And I think it looks that way, but it's just not smooth, so I'm a little nervous to sand it. I should probably take the chance and sand it, because I could always do it again. But see how it looks kind of, it doesn't look opaque. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. Um, anywho, I can't really explain it. Um, but today, I wanted to show you how I did what I did. So I'm going to do one of these. Um, I'm going to similarly do this similarly is what I'm saying but I think I want to shoot for a little bit more filled in so I might totally shade I might do a little more burning on this project I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this one see I already stamped on it but I'm gonna to and also I'm all over the place guys sorry because I drank coffee obviously I used um, my stays on to stamp this one out which is fine it's just a permanent ink and so today I figured I'd just go a little lighter and this is a water-based ink this is uh, Distress Ink by Tim Holtz for Ranger and it's I don't know you know why though because this will smudge like if I start erasing I don't know if I should use, I think I'm going to stick with this stays on. I just, I don't know why. I, I don't know enough yet. I'm too new at it to really know why or why not to do something. I'm just going to look at how these look on here. Oh, I like that. Uh-oh, look, it, it just stamped. Dang it, I had ink on there. <laughs> um, I have a lot of sandpaper. So I'm just going to try and sand that off real quick because I, I definitely um, didn't mean to do that. Yeah, it's not coming off. Anywho, look, this is just for practice and hopefully it'll turn out nice. But really I was just trying to see how I wanted to set these up. Because I want to fill in more than I did. I think that looks good. All right, so let's just, and these, um, because I can push down, because this was a little concave, I got a, I had an issue yesterday. Uh, you don't need to know that. So I'm just going to just stamp it out. And I'm going to try and fill it. See, this one is a smaller casket anyway, but I only put two on the front of that and then and then like a bunch of leaves or these vines that are on here. But this time I want to fill this up with as many sugar skulls as I can. And then I'm going to burn the background um really dark like I might put a flower I'm not sure so let's see I want to make sure this is going to fit it'll fit good enough that's my motto good enough I hope I didn't overlap oh I butt right up against it but that looks good so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna burn this all dark brown that's my thought I wanted to try there's a guy on Facebook his name is Dusty I don't know his last name and he um, does some really cool burning but he burns the background so there's a lot more that I could do alright so let's just get started I want to show you um, also I think I want to do this um, first because I'm just really curious. Now, I have several different tips for this coal wood burner and this was the one that I found I could control the most. I'm going to come in a little bit and I don't know the name of it. I apologize. But if you can tell that it has like 
a flat side here and then if you turn it over it's like more of a pointy side so anyway I was able to I can kind of do more curvy stuff now look how soft this wood is but you can also like do things like this when you're shading with different tools depending on how you use the the blade of it so I'm very new but for right now I'm just going to do these really straight lines and I'm going to try and do this little angel and I know she's faint because I didn't draw her too heavily and I just sketched it on here so this is supposed to be her little um, sleeves hanging down and then I gave her hands right here like she's kind of praying and then this is going to be let's see if I think this line should come from here uh, it should have gone here dang it like I have to give her a wrist right so that's kind of messed up anyway so she's not going to be perfect but you can see how easy it is to get a design <coughs> excuse me so I gave her this little hairdo Now if I want to make it round, you just go slow and really use the tip. I kind of come up on the tip. I think this might, it might be called a skew, but I don't know. And she has bangs. And I could make like little lines to give her bangs and a part. She has a big head. And, I mean, obviously her features are going to be super tiny. I wouldn't recommend doing something so small initially, right? Because if you want to practice, now this is supposed to be her halo, which I just did a oval shape. And I don't really like the shape of it, so I'm changing it. It doesn't look very round, but it's supposed to be a halo. Uh, then I gave her like the, a bottom of her dress. See, I'm still on the pointy side, so I'm going to turn it over. That's very crooked, but you know, whatever. I think on camera. I'm talking and I'm not focusing as much so you're not going to get your best results um, like anything I think there's a cloud there but I don't love it and then I put a little house right here and a little hill and a little path and a door and really you can just barely touch down I think I put little bushes here so you get the idea I got it I have like little eyebrows I mean her eyes could be closed which would be a good idea because I this is her features are so small um, and her little nose but like then I could put more trim here 
You could put, I might put little dip dots, but that looks kind of cool. Anywho, I thought I would just play with that. So here's what we're going to do. Um, the other thing I was going to show you is I have this other tool. It's, it looks like a dotting tool to me. So I'm going to make the dots and show you how cool they are. But for the most part, it just it takes patience. And you're just... Whoop. I like to pull toward me too. It's a really natural feel to pull this wand toward me rather rather than any other way and even when I'm painting you usually need to move the piece so that you're you feel as comfortable as possible and get the best result you know don't sit uncomfortably so yesterday it was nice out and I told you I sat out there I actually sat in one of our um, chairs that we use uh, on the deck so it's like it's a little bit like a mesh but it has a nice straight back and I just sat back and held this in my hand in my lap and I could put my feet kind of on the bar of the table underneath so I felt really comfortable and it was pretty awesome I enjoyed it myself so all the straight lines I'm going to do with this tool. So even this flower right here, I'm just going to touch down and try not to go out of the lines, like too far out of the, um, the petal there. Hopefully I'm in the shot because I know I'm really zoomed in. Um, But I won't mess with anything like those little petals because I'm going to use a different Now I've watched people burn and they really just are it looks almost like they're sketching with one of these tools and I mean, I wish I knew what, because they always speed it up and they don't talk, so I don't know what the heck they're doing. But I would love to know what kind of tip they like the most. And so I'm going to have to find a person who talks you through it. Otherwise, it's just, now see, I went out of the line there. That stinks. Um, it's just trial and error so far, you know. And I like to learn that way personally too because and sometimes I have to do it more than once to really get the idea. Um, he's a kind of cool one right here. Look at his mouth. I like his mouth. So these step, uh, I'm sorry, stamps, these sugar skull stamps, I believe I got these at AC Moore and they were by ink it ink do and that's all I remember but I can kind of picture because I got a couple sets of them I got one with little birds on it um, other than that and I know that they're by ink it ink do but I don't have the packaging anymore I have this set to a number five and I flew. I feel like I'm not that hot. Like yesterday I would see some embers and you would get a really like next to my line I would get really like burn marks. If you know what I mean, like right there I got it. It's like a burn mark. So if I go, maybe if I go a little slower it leaves darkness by the line, but if I go faster, it's just the line. But I kind of like, I'm going to put it on a six and just see if I can um, get it to look more burned -y. 
and you know what else it will also I'll get embers I'll see embers on the tip of my like little red literally like red burnt things now I'm seeing smoke I like that that looks more like it's more burnt see the smoke the black smoke and I went really slow and you can see well only if I'm in the shot you can see it so I can probably move faster the higher the number of power the hotter it is so I can move faster ooh and you better stay but like to do these little leaves I have to really take my time um, I won't do that so that's basically what this one does a nice straight kind of gouge I'm probably not in the shot at all I'm, I'm gonna zoom up a little bit so that I can stay in the shot <laughs> sorry about that the other thing um, I'm noticing is I my eyesight is really not good for this close-up work anymore I'm finding I like get double vision if I stare at this for too long but you really need to take your time and you'll be able to just burn right where you want to burn and not you know if I take my time which is not my na nature but that looks good alright so I think I'll do one more yeah the number six just that one number up it's much hotter I feel like I'm getting uh, a little bit of a better whoa I went off this is like a blade so if I push hard it'll get like in a rut of the wood and I'll go off so you just need a very gentle touch and that's the better way to go because otherwise I'll get right off the line and I use the permanent ink so I can't get that off. I just want to do his mouth. I really like sugar skulls. I don't know why. I just think it's that it's not ironic I just did an angel and now I'm doing a sugar skull. But um they're they're just cool and they're so colorful. So wood burning doesn't really do them justice. So that's why I'm tempted to paint this one. But for right now, see how I like how the hot, the hotter made it look a little shaded in there. See how it's not like the natural color of the wood anymore? Where up here, well, I still did get a few. Um, but I didn't get as much of that shadow around the edge of the burning. Uh, so anywho, I'm going to switch to the dotting tool because I want to show you that. You can't, it's hard to stop once you start. Um, but I put this in a little holder and then I flip it. So there's a little switch that says heavy duty and detail. So I flipped over to this side. And that has like a dotting tool in it. I also have a couple other tips. Not tips, like tips. I'll show you. These things. So this is the Colwood burning tools. Colwood Electronics. It gives you little hints in here. But this is the tips that I have. And I'm gonna today I'm gonna try some shading. So I'm gonna be using 
one of these, not this one. I used this one yesterday. Oh man, that is on, that is hot. Like look, I wanna show you something. This is turning red. That's too hot, you can see that. I'm gonna go back down to a five. That's way too hot. I don't, I've never seen it turn red, but I don't want it that hot. I might even turn it down. So let me just use this real quick, I'll show you. But right on the sugar skulls, there's these little dots. So this guy, see now it's not red anymore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So isn't that cool? I'm gonna come in, you have to see. Because they're perfect little dots. So there's a couple here. One, two. Where else? But, I tried to do, oh, here's some right here. I think I wanna make this whole circle. But I'm gonna take my time. Here's what I was gonna say though. All right, so that's much better. I'm gonna use this one. This is a shader and this is a shader, supposedly. And I bought this one special. See the shape of it? It's like a little spoon. And this one's just a wider version of that. This might be called a skew, but I'm not sure. So you take this little tool and I'll take it off my first pen and you just grab it and pull it off. You can just disconnect the whole pen if you, oh, let me go back up. Sorry guys. You can disconnect the whole pen so that you, get, you just get that power supply off of there. But I think I'm gonna put this, let me put this one on. This is the one that I was doing um, and there's a little circle so you have to line that up and just push it in. And then I'll, I'm gonna switch back over to this one let that heat up but um i can do some circle marks with that but these two are supposed to be able to do shading so i'm going to take the ball tool off of here and get it away from me because that was hot and i think i'm going to put this one on i don't know i don't i should practice with them both first that's the most important thing, and I'm too impatient, but I'm going to play with that one first. And But this one, I don't know what the names are, guys. Sorry, so. The only thing I don't like about these is like the, all these cords get tangly sometimes. All right, got it. So this one is like, it's more like a pen tip. I don't know if it's hot yet. But there's, it doesn't really have a chisel edge like the other one. So it has, and it has a tendency to make like skippy marks. So it'll be dark. If it falls in a hole, it'll make a skippy mark. So you have to, I'm gonna turn this up to a six. It's actually on a four, because I panicked when that was so red. And I'm gonna try and do some rounded, um, but yeah, it gets stuck. It makes a much wider line, but it can also, see it's too, it's too thick for me. I have too much of a heavy hand. I'm gonna go, it's on a six, I'm going back down to a five. Because I wanna do these type of things, all the rounded areas, like around the flowers. I'm just really gonna be gentle. So that looks good, I think I'll do that. So up here, Hopefully I won't come out of the shot. Gently. I can't, I can't tell you how gentle I'm going to be right now because 
I am such a heavy hand, I have to tell myself that constantly. And I feel like it's not as smooth with this tip, but I mean it gets the job done. I prefer the one with the um, chisel edge. But I'm getting some nice burn marks in this. Oops. See if I push too hard, I'll fall out of the... So maybe a pick up, put down technique is better? I don't know. This is all me figuring it out. But that looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. I'm going to see if I can do this curve because I want this to look pretty. Nice and loose and see it. If I push too hard, I get that. Um, what did I call it? Like a... It skips and I don't want it to skip. I think I'm doing pretty good. I ended up coloring that in and I like it. Uh, that has such a skippy look to it. Maybe I need to turn onto the edge. This is so small. I think I know what I did on this last time. I used the chisel edge one and went down between each flower. And it made it really nice looking. getting it. Hmm. to feel what's happening um, and then I can tell you but it's hard like this one I feel really you have to be a light touch and then there's a circle going around there this one is so intricate That's attached. See how it, ha it skipped? Dang it. Let's see if I can do these little teeth. And then I'm going to switch to the other one and show you what that does. Oh, I did the nose. See, I don't like the way that looks when I do that skip movement. I don't like his nose. I like that nose better. Um, wow. It's very thick and I don't like that. Actually, you know what? I don't know if there's other patterns. See, this is a very intricate pattern. Like, I didn't have anything like that on my little, on, where the heck is it now? My box, or here. You know, like, it was just really straight lines on here. So that's, oh, my snowman was a little test, though. I mean, I did the eyes with that dotting tool, 
Look how huge his buttons are. Because I couldn't make a big circle. And like the hat. I just, I like that really chiseled edge. I mean, I managed to do it with the leaves because I just kept the line super straight. But, you know. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Dang it. I meant to do a cross. I have a few things. Ah. I wanted to do something on here. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the lid. Because I messed up my checks, so I have to fill in this one and this one. Fixed it. Okay, and then I'll fix those windows. But here's something I'm going to switch. We're going to switch over. Sorry, I just got a text from my son. To this shading tool. And I'm going to see if I can... Wow, that's hot. But that's what I want to do. I kind of want to burn the whole background so I'm not sure what to do oh am I even in the shot I'm so sorry you guys I forget that I'm zoomed in I'm gonna turn it down a little it's on a five I'm gonna put it on a four because this is really as soon as I touch the wood it's like really burning so if I lighten up the heat maybe it takes me, I have to push harder to get it to burn. And then, ah, see, you might be able to bring it out a little more. Hmm, because that's what I'm thinking I want to do on here. I'm going to, like I'll put, I have to put something up here. But right in here, I think I want to shade, and I'm going to mess the whole thing up, but... And I wouldn't even consider it shading. I just want to block it in. Um, color it in, basically. Um, so I want to go right up against it. So that's what I'm planning to do on this whole thing. Like I want to burn in between. Like see how this one is just clean in between. And this one I just want to make <clears throat> everywhere in between. I want to make it like black. Well not black. It's not black. It's brown. And there's probably a better um, tip for this, but I don't know because I'm very, really new at it. But I would like the, the color to be consistent. And I'm sure you can like move your hand, like see how I'm just like making little circles like is that a thing that you should do I don't know So that's my plan on this one. <clears throat> I might put, <clears throat> I think I'm going to fill with a flower. 
like I'm just going to fill the space with a flower. But this one should look so different than this one if I do that. Like this is completely like open, but this is going to be burnt. All right, so I'll be back when I'm all done and uh, let you see the finished piece. All right, I don't want to do it all on camera because I'm I do it in real time. But if I think of anything, I'll come back on and I'll tell you what I figured out. Like, see how I added those little dots on the pattern over here because they were just so fun to make. So um, that was really cute. Like, I just took this vine and just made those vines throughout. And I added a flower here and there. But it's fun. Like, on this one, um, I could shade these little flowers but I don't know nah like I was thinking I could just like shade the centers of the flowers anyway I mean that didn't really do anything bad the sides burn very differently than the top did because I guess the wood is like softer on the side so that was interesting. See how it like, I just sunk right into the wood on that. But anywho, I'm going to play a little bit more. <clears throat> and I'll let you know how I do. Fun though. Interesting. Different. Different. Alright you guys. <coughs> I might need a mask too because this is really um, smoky. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I'm leaving the filter on for because it's just, ugh, it's really gross. So here's what happened. Um, oh, I put my little windows in. I like that. I just made them look better. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I really love Dusty's work. Let me see what it looks like in the camera. It looks pretty cool. Um, like, huh. I guess I could have, oh boy, darken the noses. Certain things, I don't know, but it also, um, Matt just got home. It also is like, a little patchy looking almost, but I think I like it. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for today. That's it, though. Alright, you guys. I have other projects I want to work on. When I do one like this, I'll definitely do it with you because it's super cute. I'm probably going to shade these, too, because I want them to be Sarah style. But I, I really think I should sand them, and I'm a nervous. I'm nervous to sand them because it's going to mess it up. So, um, anywho, more to come. Alright you guys, thanks for watching.